Well, what's up guys? Welcome back to Project Time Garage. Well, we have a 7.3 to work on again. This time it's a late 99 Ford F-250 with a 7.3 diesel. It's getting uh, diesel fuel in the coolant. Most likely culprit is injector cups, probably one or more cracked. It's pumping quite a bit in there, so I'm gonna assume I have more than one cracked or maybe one has slipped. Our goal for this project is injector cups, stop the diesel fuel from getting in the coolant, stop that contamination from happening. We're gonna go ahead and put a set of injectors in it, probably. Uh, there's quite a few miles on the engine. Um, if we're gonna go ahead and pull them out, uh, we may as well replace them. We'll, uh, we'll probably go ahead and put a set of glow plugs in it since we're, we're there as well. Uh, I think while we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and put a water pump on it since there was diesel fuel contamination. I can only assume that sooner rather than later, the water pump's probably gonna start leaking through the weep holes. So we'll go ahead and do that. Replace all the rubber hoses in it. Uh, replace the overflow bottle. We're gonna do our best to clean out uh, the, uh, the cooling system. We'll send the truck down the road and uh, we'll let the owner go ahead and do a, a flush and fill a few, maybe a few times uh, as time wears on, but that should take care of it. This should be an interesting story. This truck, I said was a late 99, but everything on the engine tells me it's an early 99. Owner tells me it definitely has had an engine replacement in its past. Uh, it was a junkyard engine. I think the junkyard may have actually put the engine in it. So we don't know what we're dealing with at this point. So um, this should be a good video. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Here's what we're gonna do. First things first, we're gonna um, get it in the garage. We're going to roll the engine over a little bit without starting the truck. We're gonna listen to see the thing's skipping. Uh, in other words, see we have a, a, a cylinder low on compression or more than one cylinder low on compression. We're gonna hook force scan to it. We're gonna do an injector test. Yeah, we're replacing them, but we kinda wanna see what the overall health of the thing is anyway. It kinda tells me a story, I guess, a little bit um, as to uh, how bad the thing is. We're gonna drive it. We're going to, uh, we're gonna hook our little torque pro gauges up to it. We're gonna try and determine whether or not the high pressure oil pump is in good shape. So all of this in an effort to not throw a bunch of money into an engine that may or may not be any good. So we're gonna prove as many of the expensive bits as we can before we go throwing probably 15 or 1600 bucks worth of stuff and a little bit of time into this thing. Without further ado, first things first, let's get it in the shop and let's get to rolling it over. See if we have a compression skip. Okay, let's roll it over and just see if we have any skip on the cylinders. No, it sounds good actually. Sounds really good, nice and even. No skips. So I'll feel better about that. Let's roll inside. We'll put our um, OBD2 scanner on there, fire up 4Scan and um, see if we can um, check out the injector health. Even though we're gonna replace them, may as well check them out anyway. All right, let's go to tests. And we're gonna select the um, Keon engine off injector electrical self test. So what this is gonna do, so what this is gonna do is it's gonna buzz each, well it's gonna buzz all eight of the injectors first, and then it's gonna buzz one at a time. And what we're listening to is a nice, nice healthy, crisp, rattle. A muffled rattle indicates an injector that's not real happy. So let's do it. All eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna run it again, but number three is the only one that sounded a little bit, a little bit quieter. So let's run it again. All eight. One, two, three, yeah, three squat. Four, five, 
All right, so what that tells me is Injector 3 is a little bit quiet and is suspect. I mean, I think we're going to replace them anyway. I believe that's what David told me, right? Yeah. So we're just going to replace them anyway um, while we're in there. Um, just to make the thing look a little longer, or a lot longer. So uh, next up, uh, we're going to run down the road. So just kind of want to see what it does, how it acts, how it feels. And then uh, I'll come back in. Oh, yeah. Putting it up. All right, so... What I'm going to do is just, I'm riding down the road. I just want to see what what our injection pressures look like. What I want to do is go to a high gear and ask a lot of it. See what I'm doing here? Oh, yeah, you're, look at your pump. Yeah. Yeah. So what that tells me is, your high pressure oil pump is is doing what it's asked because usually if you stay in it like that you'll see the pressures actually start to fall off and what we're seeing is we're seeing that this percentage here is pretty low so it's not opening that valve very much to make all the pressure it needed to make right yeah. so that's what I need to see we so our engine doesn't skip that's a good sign our injectors buzz fine with the exception of number three but truth be told more times than not when i do a buzz test i find one or maybe two or all that are having issues bailey's here what's up what do you want yeah um so anyway um injectors are good or seem to be good what do you want and driving it down the road high pressure oil pump seems to hold really good pressure with a pretty low duty cycle on the ICP. So um, all in all, I think we're probably uh, in good shape to put some money into the truck. So uh, next order of business, we're gonna get that, that driver's side valve cover off of it. We're going to find out what injectors it has because we still don't know if it's an early 99 or a late 99 engine. I think it's an early 99. I'm pretty sure the engine's early 99. All indications are that, but I hate to send the man out to get injectors that take five or six days to build just to get here and find out <laughs> they don't work. So uh, we'll get that driver's side valve cover off. We'll figure out what injectors are in the thing, and then uh, we'll button that side back up, send the man out, let him get the injectors, and then when he gets them and gets them back here to me and all of our parts and pieces, then we'll have a straight-up wrenching session, get the thing put together. So let's get to work tearing it down. I'm gonna start with the air box. All right, charge air tubes. For whatever reason these things like to uh, bind up, I don't know why it is, but they do. When you're taking these things off, don't take them off from this side. Take them off from this side, for sure. If you take them off from this side, this hose will crush, or it's easy to crush. And a lot of times, people, before you crush them, and when you go to tighten this thing back out, it just spits the whole thing out. But this is rigid. It won't do that. So, do that. I think they're 11s. Next place we're going, we're going to go ahead and get this intake housing off of it.
say that was the wrong one. <laughs> I think that may have been two together. That was the wrong one. No, it's just way too short. All right. Uh, eight double M. Here, but it's not. One thing I'll tell you, all these wires right here, they're just laying here with things on top of them. You see how that, that loom's already shaped? Yeah. That's going to it's gonna eat through. It will. It'll eat through something and you'll end up getting random like shutters and misfires and not running rights. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that'll happen. Let's see, I need this and a 10. This will be the engine harness connector, so we'll just slide this thing out of our way. Doesn't interfere with us anymore. Um, it does, but you can actually uh, just leave it on there. It's got two valve cover bolts to hold it down. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and go after the valve cover bolts. They should be self-explanatory. They're all super easy to get to, except for the one in the very back. It's a little tougher. The one on the very back of that side is just something else and we've got one right here under this it's really tempting to just pull this thing off because it's just got a couple of uh, Phillips head screws on top really tempting just to pull that thing off there don't do it uh, it's got rubber o-rings underneath it and they're swollen and when you pull it off they won't seal and you'll get to buy some so just use like an open end wrench or a ratchet wrench or something get that thing out usually they're not too tough once you get them rolling they come on out I'm going to start with a stubby, this is the part where you bust knuckles. Uh, that's what I hate about them. They let go all at once. Usually that's right about where your knuckle suffers. Okay, valve cover coming off. These are AB injectors. This is an early 99 motor. Did you hear? AB. AB. See right there? AB. Yep. And the back one right here is an AE. They had a TSB. I didn't know they did this in 99. This is probably just something I didn't know, but they put a different injector in number eight. It was a, because people were, well, they were bringing them back to the dealership complaining that the motor was knocking. Yeah. And it sounded just like a metallic knock down low. So they changed the injector to a different injector for these and for mine as well. So you need seven ABs and an AE. Looking at what we've got here. Uh, I'll try to get you a good view of that, but that injector is an AB. All these on this, I assume this whole engine, are AB, except the guy back there, the number eight, he's an AE. <clears throat> I honestly didn't know they did that in the early 99s, but there again, I, I'm not your resident expert. So, uh, but that's an AE right there. So, uh, Dave is going to get himself a set of injectors for this thing. And he's going to get a valve cover, well, no valve cover gas, but he's going to get uh, all the other little pieces, parts, and pieces, parts. And then we're going to get this uh, this thing put, put back together. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. 
So yesterday afternoon, we got the valve cover off. Uh, we're able to identify that, uh, yeah, in fact, this thing has um, uh, AB injectors in it, which it's, so it's an early 99 in a late 99 truck. So the engine's been replaced. Funny story about why that is, or supposedly why that is. So evidently, and then this is just the story I got, so <laughs> bear with me. Uh, story I got was in a previous ownership, this truck was owned by a uh, maybe a fleet company, and uh, this fleet company had uh, paid one of its employees to change the oil in the truck. So this employee drained the oil, changed the filter, realized that he didn't have, he never bought any oil, I guess, to go back in it. So he drives the truck to the store with no oil to get oil. So if you know anything about the 7.3 and the and the Huey injection, you know that's um, that's not true. Uh, the Huey inject injection system requires oil pressure in order to actuate the injectors themselves, which means no oil, no oil, no run. So uh, so that story isn't true. Uh, so <laughs> we don't know what happened. To the original engine not that it matters we just know that it's an early 99 engine in a late 99 truck so the owner of the truck david he's going to go this week he's going to pick up the injectors the uh, replacement injector cups um probably about a case of brake cleaner because it's going to require it and um he'll also get a water pump and, and a few other little items there uh, while we're at it so uh so part two of this uh, this little series will be uh, actually doing the job pulling the injectors pulling the cups and uh, and actually fixing the truck so that will be next week <clears throat> you guys down in the comments let me know what level of detail you want to see in that project I mean it I can gloss over it and make a 15 20 minute video out of the thing or I can get a little bit more in depth and um, you know show some detail so let me know down there what you want to see and i'll try to cater that that video toward what you guys actually want and like i say every time guys i really do appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to uh, to watch this junk i put out it, it means a lot i appreciate it um, and uh, if you haven't already click that subscribe button i really would appreciate it it does help us out a ton uh, to gain subscribers uh, that's kind of how youtube judges us is based on subscribers and no subscribe button equals not a subscriber, so it helps us a bunch. Appreciate it. Um, anyway, um, I guess I'll see you next time, which will be next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned.